Hey guys and welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure here and today is another beautiful day in autumn yesterday I was riding with my daughter and today is uh, Powder Face Trail I haven't done that one this year my buddy there in front of me with the BMW uh, 650 and me on uh, Africa Twin time of the year to take advantage of every moment to be riding the colors are just spectacular and that's not gonna last long as I said in a previous video those colors do they all disappear very fast uh, it's gonna be a couple of weeks and it's all done so enjoy while we can temperature today is uh, 26 degrees that's unbelievable actually it must be just straight in the sun, that's what it is. But uh, I think it was about uh, 18, 19 in a city. It can't be that warm here in the mountains. I met a rider in Pan America, uh, Harley Pan America. So I chatted with him for a bit before my friend has arrived on uh, the guy in front of me. And uh, he's, uh, he likes it. Uh, I, did, I didn't have any experience with that motorcycle. I'm not a Harley guy and uh, even though uh, a lot of positive stuff I hear about those motorcycles but uh, they're still not my cup of tea. Uh, for me it either it has to be a Beamer or Africa Twin. Those two bikes uh, that I consider for adventure, big bike adventure bikes. They have a pretty known reputation and uh, they have been on the market for quite some time comparing to something new that just comes out uh, I would never jump into something new that uh, just comes up uh, I would give it a year or two maybe even three uh, see how they perform but uh, I think the engine should be pretty fine because Harley is using those engine in a lot of other motorcycles so I think uh, that should be quite fine so we have another couple kilometers and before we get off on the powder face I wonder what condition is that in this year uh, last year at the end of the year was uh, getting pretty beat up I have a feeling it that they might have groomed it uh, hopefully
So we just crossed Powder Face and now we're heading towards uh, Highway 40. We'll see how that goes. I think that was the fastest I ever done Powder Face. <laughs> Didn't take it too long at all. And I think they actually groomed it a little bit so it wasn't as rough as it normally is. So we made it to the highway 40 and now uh, we're heading to my friend's uh, daughter where she's camping with her friends. Oh, looks like the sun got covered by clouds. It was so beautiful throughout the day. Uh, it was nice and sunny blue skies and now we got that big cloud. 
Well, it's good. Uh, at least it wasn't happen. Didn't happen yesterday when I was riding with my daughter, because uh, she had a beautiful time and uh, weather throughout the whole morning and uh, most of the afternoon. So we're just getting into a uh, Bow Valley Park. And I'm a far away this time because he has the GPS coordinates. A few moments later. So this is it for today's adventure. Powder face is done, Highway 40 is done, and I'm good till the next year. We're still gonna ride some other stuff, but uh, I don't like that dusty stuff too often. So if I can stay away from the dust, I'll take it anytime. I don't mind off-road, but I do not like dust. But my body wanted to go on it, so I got convinced. So, just stopped here at the campsite, I had a one brewski with some people that we know and I have one hour to get home. So for now this is it and that's it of riding for this weekend for me. Tomorrow I have to take the trailer down to storage and I'll see you guys uh, on the next ride whenever that's gonna happen I always got an itch so as soon as I get some time off and I'm free I'll hop on it so back to highway one 